All right, we've had some questions about Rocket Videos and the type of videos that it can create. So I wanna see if we can actually, uh, for one, I'm gonna answer a question about um, the uh, images being created into videos. And unfortunately on my review video, I didn't get to that until the last half of that review. And so a lot of you are seeing the software um, where I just created it into um, images, but uh, I'm gonna go in here, Super Flight Adventure. Let's just go in and, and click on this project right here. And I'm gonna show you how we could actually come over to, let's see right over here, I'm gonna go back to home. Let's go back into edit, the, it's either edit storyboard or edit video. I'm gonna see if we can, and it's, I don't think it's edit video. So here's the, yeah, here's all of our um, media. So we just clicked on edit storyboard. Now we're looking at this video right here and now what we can do instead of just going in and creating the video right here and leaving these as images, all you do is just come over here and you turn these into videos. So this is what probably most of you are actually looking for um, and this is what really takes this software all the way to a whole nother level because we don't see this with um, a lot of other softwares and you usually have to pay um, premium prices for um, generating videos like this. You also have to get uh, do a lot of tricks. Go, go and create really good images in uh, Mid Journey or something like that. Then take them into other um, AI creation uh, platforms that mm -hmm. can take images and then create um, five second or less videos from them. And then you have to take all those, uh, match them, probably label all your images in sequence. And then you have to go in there and put it all together in your own video. And I, I've already done this before. It takes hours to do that. For even just like a two minute story, it would take probably an hour or two to do that. And so right here, what we're doing is that these are queued right here and they're gonna go through the process of creating. And we come back up here, you can see that these videos have already been created. We can go test them out. Look, so there's a video, that video right there, super, super cool. Uh, I'm not gonna test the rest of them, we're just gonna leave it, but you can see how fast it is too, right here live, right in front of you. I'm gonna continue talking so I don't edit this out. And then you can see right over here. So then now what we can do is we can go and push the save button and push next right here. And this is where we'll be able to come in here and actually uh, look at this video right here. Meet Alex, a boy with dreams of soaring the skies. Every day, he dreams of flying over the city. A chase for a kite becomes a leap of faith. Whoa, I can fly. Alex flies with the wind, an exhilarating glide. This is amazing. A friend in need catches Alex's eye. Don't worry, I'll get it down. With a gentle touch, the hero saves the day. Cheers erupt for Alex, the local hero. What's next for Alex? Only the sky is the limit. See you soon. More adventures await. All right, so that's how that's done. Very impressive. You can see there was probably about <clears throat> there's 12 images total that turned into videos. And I can see there was probably two, maybe three of those videos that were um, too AI-ish, if you will, um, that you would probably want to fix. So all, all you do is just go and export that. I'm gonna just save that. Um, but what I would wanna do is come back over to home, come back over here to the storyboard, and then what I would do is I would I identify those ones that were kind of weird where the hands were kind of uh, doing some weird stuff. So you would just come in here and you would actually push play and just kind of look and see what's going on with the video. That one's fine. This one's fine too. Um, and I would just go in and try to um, figure out which one doesn't look good. And then what I would do is I would just regenerate the video or even work on the prompt, okay? So that's how that works. You can get some really, really good videos where we're actually turning the AI image into an action video, which is super cool. Now I wanna go back to here and I want to create a video and I'm gonna say, we're gonna do story and I'm gonna say, I think that the include characters is what you wanna click if you want the dialogue. For whatever reason it, it did, I wasn't able to get that on the sci-fi one, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this one again. So uh, Terminator um, comes to Earth to save um, a boy named Aaron. 
Let's just do that. A Terminator comes to Earth to save a boy named Aaron. We have story, English. Um, we have characters right here. We're going to generate this one real quick. All right, so here's what I'm doing. I'm actually coming in here. We have our Terminator and we have our uh, we have Aaron. Now we could go and fix the, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, keep that like that. It's actually pretty cool. You can see he's kind of half human, um, kind of like a Terminator, right? He's got the Terminator jacket, so pretty cool. We'll just leave this like the way it is. Um, it's ident identified the characters. Here's the scene. So we're only going to have each scene's going to have about two images, two videos, right? But this is going to be about a 45 second video the way it is. And we can add scenes. I want to see if we can push the software. I have reached out to Tim Verdo, the creator of the software, um, how long we can create if they have a max or anything like that. But what I'm going to see is if, if we can at least push the software to, to create longer videos and see how it performs for us. So I'm going to go over here and copy all those scenes, come back over here into trusty Claude and say, Hey, here is an outline with scenes for a YouTube story video I'm creating. Can you make it five times longer? Um, add more scenes to develop the plot and characters. Make it have more action and more exciting as well. And I'm going to go ahead and push um, go. And so the Claude's going to go out there and expand our story. So expanded Terminator story outline. So we're going to go ahead and just start grabbing all this right here. We have act two. So this is going to take me a minute. I'm going to start copying and pasting these over and I'm not going to have you sit through the boring part. So I'll, we'll be back in just a minute. Perfect. I'm glad I'm doing this test for you guys. So we, I'm trying to push this button here, add scene. So maximum 15 scenes allowed. So what you would need to do is kind of, uh, what I would do is think outside the box is do your 15 scenes right here. And then you would have to kind of go in and either recreate and do another project and then merge them together. Or uh, you could come in and edit this storyline that already identified these pictures and all that. And then you would just uh, replace these. So for example, um, with our um, going into Claude and we have all of our um, stuff over here, all of our storyline, um, what I would do is, you know, go up to wherever you can. And then I would just go back into rocket videos and then I would start editing these, right? So I'm gonna go like that. So we're good here, 15 scenes. And once you create this video, you would just come back in here and you would just start from the top. You'd go about, go up to the top and you would replace this and put the new one in and then do that. So if you want like a five or six minute video, you're gonna probably have to do this about three times, but let's see what 15 scenes does for us. Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna go with, um, energetic pace, maybe cinematic transitions. Let's go with that. That's pretty cool. Uh, I noticed that you can only do like click on these quick ones. You can only click on one. If you click on another one, it erases it, but you could also put more stuff in here as well, but we're going to go with that. We're going to go with cinematic on this one. Um, and then I think that's it landscape. And then we're going to go with next here. And then it's going to go out there and start generating the scenes and we'll be right back. Now, remember, we have all the images that are created. It looks super cool. It's still creating those, but now what we can do is uh, what I would, uh, instead of just going and starting to generate the videos, I'm going to actually leave it and I'm going to wait. Um, these look really, really good. Look at that. That's incredible. Um, but what, I'm going to wait until it's done. There's Aaron. It spelled it right, too. So that's really cool. And then there's our character. There's Aaron right there. We're going to come down here. So all the images are done. Um, and now what I'm going to do is, okay, cool. So I think it's done. Nope. Unexpected rescue. So we're on an unexpected rescue. That looks cool. So then it just keeps coming down. We have our chaotic escape right here. There's the motorcycle, the classic, you know, uh, reminds me of uh, Terminator part two. Um, the AI obviously has knowledge of Terminator and, and, and the movie and stuff like that, because you have the classic, the motorcycle, the Terminator, and then you have the kid right there and they're all kind of in these leather biker jackets and stuff. So really cool. Here's like a diesel scene where they're in the diesel or something like that. The, <laughs> this looks really cool guys. This might be just fun to play with too. Okay. So this is a pretty big, um, story that we have right here. And so what I'm going to do is start going and generating the videos right over here. I'm going to go back generate the videos and we'll come back and see what we've got. Okay. So that was pretty fast. Every time we clicked on generate video, I wish they had add a button that says, says generate all videos or something like that. That would be really cool. Um, they might have it, but I just didn't see it. I don't think they have that, but that would be kind of cool. Um, 
but we did make our way through and it actually generates the videos very quickly. So that's something that I noticed that it was pretty cool. Um, now we're going to see about the music and then we'll actually watch this. I'm not going to edit this video like I normally do because I don't want any of the transitions and stuff to be messed up. So I'm just going to kind of, um, you know, leave this particular video when I publish it, it's not going to have a whole lot of video editing. So there may be a couple times where there's a few seconds of me not talking, which uh, is not normal in my videos. But we're going to go to so we're at 50 right here. Um, I'm going to leave the subtitles off because a video like this, I, I wouldn't want them on there. Um, and then let's see where my volume is. We're looking good there. I think I'm going to move this up to 70 maybe. This is the um, the voiceover, so we'll go 70 there. We'll go find a music um, preset for this. I'll be right back. Oh, and here's another thing. Um, in order to get the voiceover uh, on that second video um, that I tried to create in, in my first video review, if that makes sense, um, there, there was no voiceover. That's because you have to click this voiceover button over here, I believe. So we have all the, the, the text, um, the narrator of what they would say. And you can add sound effects and stuff in here, but I think you can just click the um, generate voiceover and now it's gonna generate the entire voiceover for us. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at the video. It's actually pretty quick right there as well. Okay, so Tim Verdo, the creator of the software, did get back to me. I asked him what the lengths are. Now, if you get the front end product, you do get five minutes. And that's where we're getting that limitation of the 15 slides, um, five minutes. There is a workaround. Um, you would just put videos, multiple videos together. If you wanted to get to that eight minute mark, you'd ha just have to uh, put two videos like this together. You'd go and export and then you'd put them together. It's actually still not that bad. Um, considering that, um, you know, like I said, if you were going to do all this the old fashioned way, kind of, um, and do one image at a time, first of all, you have to figure out how to create characters and the prompts and everything, uh, to get the characters to be consistent soft, this software does all that for you. Um, and so you'd have to put all those together uh, again. This software just is a massive time saver is the biggest advantage of, of, of picking up uh, this software. Um, if you get uh, one of the upgrades, it's up to 10 minutes and that would be perfect for most people, right? We want to create eight to 10 minute videos for YouTube building YouTube channels. So you definitely want to figure out what upgrade this one is um, throughout the funnel. It'll, you'll be able to see, it'll probably say something on one of the upgrades, create longer videos. Um, so upgrade for, to 10 minutes. That's the one you're really going to want. And if you take the bundle, there's a bundle offer and I have coupons as well for this under uh, below in the description, then that's when you can get uh, create up to 15 minute videos. Okay. So take, let's take a look at this final product right here that we've got. And we do have a one minute, 51 second video right there. So um, we maxed out our slides. And so I'm not really sure where, how we would get this to five minutes, to be honest with you. Um, I would think we'd have to create multiple, multiple videos, probably um, you know, four or five videos to get to that eight minutes uh, because we maxed out our slides to 15 slides. I guess what we could do in the storyboard, we would just fit a lot more text in there or something like that. So um, again, that part right there, but we've got almost a two minute video right here. So let's go take a look. In the silent realm of space, a disruption ripples through the cosmos. A portal unfurls with a radiant flash, emerging from a world unknown the Terminator arrives. A being forged of metal and purpose stands unscathed. Cold and calculating, the hunt begins. The Terminator procures tools of human survival. Every detail memorized, every feature mapped. An unstoppable logic sifts through stored data. Location confirmed. Mission objective identified. A presence concealed in shadow, intentions unknown. Tales of past conflicts etched upon their skin. In the sea of students, one stands apart. Tapping keys, crafting algorithms of a higher order. You don't get it, mom. It's more than just a hobby. A void in the family dynamic, unspoken yet felt. That's strange, must be malware acting up. A puzzle of cryptic symbols, a whisper of what's to come. From a distance, safeguarding eyes monitor his every move. Behind the guise of education, an ominous gaze. 
Metal beneath flesh, true form revealed. Metal meets metal in a battle for destiny. What? What are you? Come with me if you want to live. The hunters speed forward, relentless and unyielding. In a dance of chaos, machines clash on the asphalt stage. Why here? What's happening? Another player enters the field, altering the stakes. Uh, wow, pretty cool stuff. <laughs> what do you guys think? I want to see your comments below. Is this impressive? And uh, will you be picking it up? There's coupons below for the for some of the front end and the bundle, I believe. Um, this is pretty dang cool to be able to create such a unique video um, in a matter of minutes. I would say just the copying and pasting from um, my new, you know, adding the, the scenes over here um, that that took a little bit of time. And so, you know, the software's not perfect. There's things that, uh, you know, I would ask for, which is maybe like, uh, you know, generate all videos with one button, uh, little things like that. And then maybe there's a little bit of a disconnect right here. Like, how do we get to the five minute videos when I maxed out all my slides um, and so forth? So, but still, that's two minutes. What you would want to do is you would want to come back and um, you could go and create more. Um, visuals and so forth and then you could actually come up here to the media and you could go and actually like click on this one right here and you could actually replace it right so if you didn't like this one you could actually replace it um and you know upload and so forth you can choose the transitions and stuff like that so um again uh five minute max front front end 10 um for the upgrade and then 15 for minutes uh videos for the bundle uh, what do you guys think? I'd love to know what you guys think, but I wanted to get this extra video out there so you guys could see some more about how to make the uh, these really cool videos uh, that you're using AI images that turn into videos. And that's the big kind of takeaway of what this uh, Rocket Videos can do for you. So thanks for joining me. Link below. I'll see you soon.